Hi, I'm Marissa and welcome back to Chew in the Kitchen. I'm getting ready for an episode, but I had so many questions about my Dyson Airwrap and about my T3, so I'm gonna compare them. So I just got out of the shower and I went ahead and I put on um, one of my favorite products, it's Living Proof, it's the five in one style. Um, I just went ahead and put it through my hair. My hair is about 80% dry right now, so that's perfect for styling with the Dyson Airwrap. So you do want to style it whenever it is wet, which is definitely a benefit. Um, it comes in this beautiful leather box. When I saw it, I was like, geez, that's awesome. Um, and then you open it up, and it has all kinds of fun things in it. So it has the actual tool, and if you have any other Dyson products like the stick back, it kind of reminds you of that. It also has a blow dryer which the Dyson blow dryer is pretty amazing so it's a mini blow dryer I've heard the actual Dyson blow dryer is a little bit more powerful than the one that comes in this kit um, it has two different curling barrels so it has a smaller one for tighter curls and then a bigger one for bigger curls and they just fit on like an attachment they just snap right onto the actual piece um, it also comes with a soft brush, and this is um, meant for straightening your hair. And then a harder brush, which also is meant for straightening your, your hair. And then lastly, a round brush. Um, and this is great if you like to, you know, round brush and blow dry your hair at the same time. It's pretty amazing. All right, I have three pros and three cons about the Dyson Airwrap. So the first pro is gonna be, it gives your hair a lot of volume. Um, I get that volume by using the actual bigger barrels. Um, so you can kind of see that um, whenever it works, it goes by air and it uses air to go ahead and curl your hair. I'm gonna show you how I get that volume. So I just put my barrel on. I'm gonna go ahead, there's a hot button. So I went and I put it all the way on high. And then I'm going to turn it on. I hold it right here. And then it wraps my whole hair up. I've had it on for about 10 seconds. Now I'm going to remove it. And you can see I've got a nice pretty curl. Alright, so my second pro is that it actually has a button on here. Once it wraps up your hair and the heat's on, in order to set the curl, you click it down, and it's a cool feature, so it will set the curl. All right, so my third pro is gonna be how it uses air and less heat to be able to style, which I think is really cool. So you hold it here, you turn the machine on, and then it wraps it up. I put it there for about 10 seconds. And then I go ahead and I hit that cool button to set my curl. And you can feel how the heat is a lot less. I turn it off, and there's my curl. My first con is going to be the actual arrows. They're really confusing to me. So um, the arrows pointing um, away from me, and so at this point, you know, you want your curl to go away from your face. So you would think that it would go that way, but it goes the opposite way. So I get kind of confused. All right, so we're on to the second con. As you can see, I'm done styling my hair. It's nice and full, lots of volume. Um, but the second con is gonna be the price. Ooh, uh, it was $550. But how I justified it was is all built into one, a blow dryer, a curling iron, and a straightener. Uh, that price is a little rough, especially because there's so many other great products out there that can do the same thing. So my third con is gonna be, my hair doesn't stay. Uh, it looks great right now, and I'll spray it down, and I use Living Proof Hairspray, which is great, uh, but it won't stay. It actually becomes really, almost looks like it's windblown. Um, within an hour or so. So, uh, that's frustrating. All right, here's the final verdict. Drum roll, please. 
Before we start, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Okay, so the final verdict is this. I don't think the Dyson is worth the money. There's a lot of other products out there um, that give you the same result. I'm gonna show you what I think is a great product. I'm not being paid by any either one of these companies, so this is just my personal opinion. Um, it's the T3. I ended up getting this at Costco for $45. I think it holds my hair better. It lasts a lot longer and it makes my hair really shiny. So I'm definitely a really big fan of this product. Hopefully this video was helpful. You can support my channel by hitting the subscribe button below. I'll be back in the kitchen next month. I'll see you soon. Thanks. Hey, you guys are still here? Look, I know you love Chew in the Kitchen, but right now, I need you guys to get out of my bathroom. But she'll be back next month, Marissa will be back. Come on, let's go, keep going.